Welcome to the Selectman's meeting for January 15th, 2020. First item is salute the flag. Pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under, under God, indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> okay. Town Administrator Weekly Update. The floor is yours, Jen. All right. So not too many things this week. Um, first thing, I just want to let you know that I met with um, Jenny Gore in regards to the tree lighting. She wanted to, um, she hasn't had a chance to kind of publicly thank the board and everybody from the town that helped out. She did go to a rec meeting and, and uh, met with them and helped them. Um, so just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So if you recall, um, probably in October, she came to the board um, because she was looking for a little bit of assistance because she was having a knee surgery. And the rec did step in and helped her out with that. Um, it was kind of a team effort, but it is something that she's still continuing and planning on running. She's hoping that the rec or other people from the public will continue to help, um, but she still wants to be the contact. She's already scheduled the hall for the day that she's going to do it in 2020 and is looking forward to um, moving forward with it with anybody's help. So, but she appreciates the board, the town, and of course the rec for their help but it is still her event okay one of the things uh, last week that came up under public comment um, from one of our residents was a uh, recommendation that a blurt be put at the bottom of the bills um, in regards to fire and rescue telling them that we had some options for them so I have been emailing with uh, Sean McPherson who is our contact at medical reimbursement um, the bills used to say, if you if you have any questions on this bill or have insurance, please call so-and-so or email so-and-so. We have added the line that says, we also accept monthly payments and financial hardships. Please contest, contact us directly for more information. So that's already been done, so it will be appearing on the bills um, as they go out. Great. I have scheduled you a meeting with your attorney on January 29th at 445 um, for um, drug the drug policy uh, I think that's easier he's just gonna come in and uh, meet with you guys in a workshop uh, just to go over some concerns 445 <coughs> some concerns we had to talk about how medical marijuana affects the um, CDL and the state federal guidelines so that will be on the 28th and I will remind you did you say the 28th? 29th. 29th. It's a Wednesday. Uh, with the resignation of uh, someone from the rec committee, uh, someone else reached out and asked me if we had an opening on the rec committee. Um, I had the conversation, I think, with, with uh, one of you that um, that individual made the eighth spot, so there are currently seven members, so it's certainly up to you to decide if you want to just leave it at seven and let them see how it goes, or did you want me to advertise that they had one opening? I think you're better off with a law number when you're, when you're doing a vote. I think, I think the seven right now is fine. I think seven makes more sense, too. Okay. I say more the merrier, but... Seven or nine. I guess I, I mean it does make sense to be an odd number. Right, right. Nine right. seems yeah. like a little much. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got an email from um, a couple of um, different individuals um, looking for veterans in Acton that might need some help. There's a couple of uh, Rolling Thunder chapters um, and uh, an individual family. They've both specifically asked for veterans uh, that might be in need of assistance. So if anybody knows of someone that, uh, whether it's heating oil or food or, or whatever it may be, um, can contact me and I can get you in touch with them and see if there's something that these organizations might be able to do to help. The new copier is finally being delivered on Friday. Yes. <laughs> so, and that they're also bringing the uh, motor vehicle printer that was upstairs. So, just the new, just downstairs. downstairs. The downstairs, downstairs copier. Yes, we got us out of the lease. The one they wanted. Well, yeah, they're getting the identical one to upstairs because okay. it works for them. So they get, yeah, so they get the one that they really wanted in the first place. Or all in the uh, no, the one they wanted was the one that was down there. That's okay. the one that they chose. Yeah, but it that's, that's, it didn't work but that's out, not the one right? that's working out for them. Correct. Okay. It didn't work to the how they yep. would like. So yep. yeah. Okay. 
I'm still waiting on a date from ADT for camera installation, but hopefully that's coming in soon. Mm -hmm. I emailed you guys a packet today from Maine Municipal uh, when you have a chance just to take a peek at it. Uh, it really goes over the 2020 dues, uh, kind of talks about you know what exactly you pay for, and um, it has a lot of important dates, calendar dates that might be helpful to you as far as deadlines that we have to meet. Um, so I want you to take a peek at it. The next two kind of, actually let's skip those two for a minute, they kind of run together. Um, the gym, I have I spent some time yesterday with Gail Bovair. Uh, her, her and uh, Mr. Baxter and um, Jordan Berard and a couple other people have been working very hard on the list. Um, her and I sat down yesterday and went through. They've made a lot of signs and instructions and directions and things that they've wanted. So they're in the process of getting them all printed and hung up. We'll start taking some visual pictures and send them over to the insurance company. Uh, in the meantime, we've also had um, a small increase of, of, of sign-ups. People have kind of been coming in and, and signing up, so okay. we'll keep you posted on what they say as those uh, weigh each other out. All right, so the district attorney. Let's start with the district attorney in Article 43. So as you know, and I don't have the application, but I think we can. We should all have it memorized. So I reached out to the, to the district attorney's office via email asking them for some assistance with Article 43 per your instruction. Um, I haven't gotten any response. Um, it's been, I guess, about a week or so now. Um, so we have our state uh, representative, uh, Mr. Kryzak, who has been communicating with Mr. Winchell and essentially says that he's going to walk our questions over to him, to over to the office to try to get us some assistance. So as I prepare to put a packet together or um, a list of questions. I guess I just wanted to have the conversation on what exactly am I asking them. Um, so I, you know what I mean, I really literally want to write down your questions and I'll put it together in a, a, a draft letter. Well, we definitely... So here's the Warren article. I mean, do we want to... What do you think? <laughs> well, yeah, that would be good. What do you think? We also want to know, you know, the laws, the rules. I mean, do they consider it a legal Warren article the way it's written? Well, I think what we ought to do is we send in the warrant, uh, the warrant article, okay, and then we have we have to have some specific questions. Right, and that's what right. I need you know, from you. Does guys. this is this does this abide by state statute? Does it does maintenance? Yeah. Is that, is that included into this statute? Does our ordinance cover that? And. Uh, uh, that's pretty much most of it, but um, I guess any suggestions they can give us, I, you know, would be really nice. Um, I mean, I think that the the biggest issue that we've had as we start looking at Article Forty Three is as they go through the questions, it's finding the the correct link and finding the most accurate up-to-date website because right. we're having you know I told you that uh, Wendy Garland from the DEP called me because she's being someone um, from Acton is reaching out to her questioning some of the things that you guys are doing um, and we had a big a long conversation about maintenance and that you understand that it's not for maintenance um, but there there seems to be different places like one of them like the list of the great ponds there's different places that you can find that, and you know what I mean, and, and they're not the identical lists. Yeah, the the right. problem we're having here is we we were like we were looking through earlier. Okay, we we had an individual email us saying that this road didn't um, qualify, you know, even though it was on the survey on the the survey, but the road didn't qualify, so. So now at this point, now we're not just looking at that. We're looking at whether or not the road qualified, you know, because of the survey. Right. So it, it, we got to get clarification here of exactly what we're allowed to do by state statute. What we need for proof, what they need, I guess, what the applicants need. How detailed does it need to be? Can it just be they're, they're on the great pond, the watershed survey, or does it have to come down to... Mm -hmm the road and where do we get the information so that we can check it the right information whatever whether it's packets or <clears throat> yeah, is that something I mean those lists that they maintain that you know we're trusting off the DEP site right I mean, I mean yeah what was what's most up to date places. up to date I guess would be the best 
All right, I was trying to draft some sort of, some sort of letter. Um, he goes to Augusta on, uh, what do you say, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I think, so he wants to be able to pick up a packet by Monday. So. Says he's had to do this before for inland fishery stuff where he's made phone calls and they didn't call, so he went right direct there and he was able to get stuff done. So he says it's right across the street. So Yeah, no, I'm just having trouble understanding exactly what I'm asking them. Yeah. So that's where I'm, where I'm just kind of struggling. But all right, let me see what I can put together. We, we, we got to know whether or not what we're doing is legal. Right. And right now, if right. we can give Here's a, the overall question, right? I mean, I don't know if maybe, right. maybe we ought to uh, um, give a uh, um, description of what we've been doing. And if you know... Well, that's kind of... I don't want to say all over the place, but that's kind of up and down, too. I mean, well, you know exactly. I mean, I mean we, we started paying for maintenance because um, most of it was. And, and we take the bill in and have them look at it and say, you know, is this something that we're legally allowed to pay for? Okay. And I, I don't know. You might need an ex they might need an example, you know, so they're not right. kind of yep. shooting in the dark. And I think that in, I mean, in Do they have guidelines up there? Could we ask them if they have guidelines okay. for us? And, I mean, in fairness, I feel like we should, they should see, you know, Burke and Clegg's, you know, email to us as well when yeah. we originally started it because, yeah. you know, he wrote That's the letter right. and drafted it. Yeah, and, definitely. You know, so. All right, I'll work on it. Um, I'll work on it. All right, so that's the email. I don't know where packet number three went. I swear I hit three on the copier, but you got two, um, and you have my copy. So that's the email that came uh, from the individual today. Um, I did indicate to him that it would be on the agenda. Um, he's not going to be attending. Um, we do need to put some sort of response in. I'm just looking for some direction from the board. So we read the email so the people know what we're talking about. Sure. And, uh, information. At least this, yeah. Do it First part. Who are we going right ahead to? Me. Either one. Yep. Good, Kim. All right. I went to the state as well to get answers about Article 43. These folks are from the DEP. These are the people that set the guidelines for private roads. I've attached Appendix B, site list from Malsum Lake Survey, along with the newsletter sent out to property owners from Tattle Street Road Association. As you can clearly read from the emails from different people at the DEP, that in order to qualify for aid under the statute listed in Article 43, the road must be on the survey list for that particular great pond that it's on. Now this says Tattle Street is not on that list. Furthermore, as indicated by the emails, the money received from the municipality must be used to address the cause listed on the lake survey that is leading to the degradation of the lake, not for future maintenance or ongoing maintenance. You misappropriated taxpayer funds to Tattle Street Road Association. They went and misrepresented misappropriated those funds to match a grant from the state. It seems the town has made a mess of this situation. I'm seriously hoping you will do the right thing and get this money back before it turns into a bigger situation. One selectman has said many times that you want to make sure that you do it right. Now is our chance. I will look forward to your reply. Okay. I think, actually, I think pretty much everything in that email is what we were just talking about. We're going to ask. Right. No. And I guess what I hear in that email and my question of whether it's accurate or not is is the part where he's talking about that the road has to be like you said the road has to be listed on there and what doesn't didn't he say in there that the damage has to be listed the, I didn't the damage see that the road in this is, one. yeah or the de uh, degradation the yeah yeah so what what he's what he's saying is you take the whole Muslim Lake watershed okay and they got your survey and we're looking at on our paperwork where it says, are you part of a survey? And they mark off yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we think you're all good. What he's saying, and I believe Linda Shire. No, Wendy. I, I, Wendy, Wendy Garland. Wendy Garland uh, I think was pretty much in the same, th uh, saying the same thing was. No maintenance. Break it, yeah, no break, maintenance. But break it down but one more step to because, the road. Because you're, you're on the, you're a part of the survey, but is your road actually a hot spot to be right. worked on? Right. So if it's not on the hot spot list, then it doesn't qualify. On uh, Article 43, the only thing we ask for is whether or not you're part of the survey. Right, yeah. right, right. Which they are, right. but we don't have a thing saying, are you on a hot spot on the list? So that's where the hairs are getting split here. Right, and that's what we're trying to figure out from the Attorney General's office if yeah. we have to have that, yeah. yeah. Can I see that for some and, like and, the, and it kind of... Yeah, um, put a, go ahead. Go ahead, David. And, and another thing is here about, you know, um, 
the misappropriation of funds. When <clears throat> Tattle Street came to us, they came to us with a bill. Right. Okay. And for this work and this work and this work to be done, after we write the check to Tattle Street where they appropriated the money, it doesn't make any sense because when they came to us, they came to us with a bill for work that had been done. Done. Right. So it doesn't make, I don't understand where the appropriation, where they put the money in afterwards. I guess you could say that the contract has probably already been paid. No, he's saying that the town misappropriated the funds by giving it to them. Right. Yeah. Not, the not the Tattle Street, Street, Street misappropriated. It was us. The, the the but at the time, we didn't misappropriate because we went by the list at least no, 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 I'm, I'm just that we mean. had in yeah. hand. Right. So... You know, yeah. like Melissa I said, we're splitting hands here. One <laughs> thing says yes, they are part of a pond survey, right. which they were. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they also but had nothing the on there says the is your road time. on this list. Right. So, um, but that wasn't a question that we were no. asking initially. No, it wasn't a question that anybody had given us to right. ask. And right. the reason why we shut this down is because of all these things have come up. I think right. we've done. And, and the auditor said the other night that we so did what we needed to do. We shut the program down. Yeah. Okay, until we can figure this out, yeah. and uh, you know, instead of beating a dead horse, we're we're just trying to do what's right here. And yeah. I and I am the person that said over and over that I want to have this right, yeah. and that's what we're trying to do. So I, I don't. Um, well, I think right now, I mean, I don't think there's nothing else we need to do with this at the moment. Is there? No, I, I told him that we would discuss it. I right. think I'll just follow up an email saying that we're working yeah. on uh, putting questions together for the district attorney. Yeah. And that yeah, really about half of what he's asking and there's questions that we're going to ask the district right. attorney yeah. so I mean he does have he does have points mm -hmm. and, and, it, and oh, unfortunately yeah. it's come to the point where uh, and this is Jeff Donahue Donahue or Donahue Donahue um, I, I like to make sure that we know who's writing the stuff so you know yeah. uh, he has good points mm -hmm. um, the unfortunate part is is a lot of the stuff wasn't looked up in prior and maybe it was rushed a little bit and we're trying to fix that problem yeah. right Okay. I don't think we need to go any, in any more depth with that until we hear back from the Attorney General's office. So. All right. That's all I have for this week. Okay. Mm. Anything else? Done. That's it? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Um, okay. Warrants and bills, have you signed? Yep. You've signed? I've signed. Yep. I've signed. We okay. signed. We were here Monday. Yep. I was. I say briefly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's an ongoing joke now. I apologize for not being here last last week, and I had to duck out Monday as well. So, but anyway, here we are. So I guess at that point, approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. Moved and we'll second that. We motion. Second to approve the agenda. Okay, moved and seconded to approve the agenda. Uh, any further discussion? Nope. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Um, this I had already done. Oh, for December 18th here. Yeah. Minutes of the last meeting. We yeah, got this, is, this two, one's already been done. I did two this one. Weeks of meet, two meeting minutes that you have to approve. Yeah, I already approved that. The 18th and was, was already done, wasn't it? Version, so I, I thought so, do but that was. Right. There are two weeks. So there's last week's, and then there's what weeks do you have there? I've only got the 8th. And for yeah, some what? reason, I got the I got the January eighth, but I've I've got yep, the eighteenth. These didn't get approved. I thought we already did. No, we did the eleventh. Oh, okay. Give me one of them, and I'll do it, and we'll table it for next yep. week. I'll work on it. Wait, is this the right well, one? I went through it already. Which? Well, which one is this? The one I wasn't at. I need the one I was at. Last week you were at. That's the other one. That one you weren't at. Right. That's why. Right. That's why so you let's, couldn't, let's that's why you couldn't yeah. approve it last week. Okay. All right. And David has read those. Okay. They're good. Okay. Those ones are good. So I make a motion them. we approve the agenda for December 18th, 2019. Minutes? The minutes of the meeting. Thank you. I'll okay. second that. Moved and seconded to approve December 18th. Any further discussion? Over a vote. All in favor? All opposed? All right. And then you have last week's, which was the 8th. And if you want, I'll do those. Uh, which ones? Let's. The 18th? 8th. 8th. Last eight. week's, because Ed wasn't here. Right. And, uh. I'm going to table these till next week because I haven't read it yet. Okay. okay. But I'll take care of it and get it done. Okay. Next on our list here, Department Heads Committee Chairs. Any Department Heads Committee Chairs? Going once, going twice. Okay. Old business, Goat Hill. Uh, still pending. I did not hear back from Mr. Davis, so I trust he's still um, working on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cleaning services. So the um, individual that you awarded the cleaning services to um, has decided not to take the position after all. 
Um, if you recall, uh, we were really weighing heavily between two people mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they were very similar in price. One was going more for an hourly rate as an employee. The other was an independent contract with, with um, insurance, which didn't sort out. So I'm um, looking for just a motion to approve the cleaning and award it to Mary Yetten, which was our second. I'll make a motion that we uh, give the um, clean and bid to uh, Mary Yetten. No, second that. Who to second it to award the cleaning bill to Mary Etten. Any further discussion? Oh, call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. Sounds good. Been a long month. Yes. yes. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new business. Pool station contact. Yeah. Um, Tracked. Is there an R in there? Oh, good. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I just can't the, say. Uh, last week, they, um, the two of them did review this. So the fire chief essentially came through um, and picked a minimum of uh, minimum amount of pull stations he'd like. This is throughout the entire building. Uh, we agreed on five or six. Um, so it was $1,650 for those to all be installed and a monthly fee of $6. And they already approved it, but there was no actual contract. He wouldn't. I didn't have him draft the contract until... They approved it last week, so that just needs signature. Okay. Speaking of signature, not to change the subject, but Kim, I left you something in there. It said Kim sign. It was the um, collections contract. Did you see it? Because only David had signed it last week, and I needed to. Okay. Did you see that? I didn't, but I'll. Uh, Don't leave without me finding it, please. Okay. Sorry, Ed. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay, ADT commercial fire alarm system. Yeah, they're installing five. Five, yep. Five pull stations at the exterior doors. They're the ones that are doing the cameras too, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, they do the I told me I wasn't getting that until I got my cameras fire on. Fire and burglar alarm system. And, <laughs> um, Bryce was on here somewhere. Uh, second page. Second page. Oh, yeah. $1,650. And a monthly fee is $6.08. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Have the pull stations installed? I make a motion we accept the ADT contract for uh, the, the pull stations for $1,650. Yep. And the monthly fee? Monthly fee of $608. Okay. I'll second that. Moved and seconded to accept the ADT contract uh, to have them put in. Any further discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. So while you're signing those, I'll mention too that our handyman tomorrow will be installing the exit signs that the fire chief wanted. He wanted them to glow in the dark, but I mean, he wanted them to be battery just one of oh, yeah. backup. But we settled on glowing so in the dark. Contract. Couldn't find any. It goes with it. Okay. Just one of us That's, needs to sign. No, right? I'd rather two because the okay. auditor, All two right. people. Yeah. And this, I'm giving you the, this back because it's only got one signature on it. Okay. Jules <laughs> had to. Who wants it? Yeah, I'll go this way. Direction. Oh. What is today's date? 14th. It's today, 14th. 15th. 15th. I think it was tucked in. Dave signed it, but not you and me. Okay, policies. There you go. Thank you. So, um, on the 18th, we had a first reading of the dishonored checks policies. Uh, the treasurer did make a couple of changes. Um, I'll give you all copies, but I'm hoping to get this signed tonight, and I'll just go through the changes. Um, so on the first on the first paragraph, if you follow, if you follow along, um, it used to say, the policy described for processing the collection of dishonored checks. The next line was all checks payable to town are processed on the day received uh, with a part-time treasurer. That line was taken out altogether. Mm -hmm. Three paragraphs down where it says, a notice of dishonor will be sent via, it used to say, a certified return receipt. 
Uh, the law only requires that it's certified mail. Uh, we don't have to have the receipt card back as long as we can track that they signed it. Um, and then the town will charge a return check fee for each return check. Um, then the very last paragraph, um, a do not accept checks list will be maintained naming persons and entities who have given dishonored checks to the town two times in the period of one year. It used to be two years. And then it says for the next two years, payment from those persons will be accepted in only cash, cashier's check or money order. It used to be four years. So we knocked it down from four okay. to two. Okay. So her, right. her recommendation. So is the only changes. Uh, you've already reviewed it once. So mm -hmm. looking for signatures on just one of those copies, okay. please. What's your wishes on this? Do we hear a motion? Make a motion to accept the Town of Act and Dishonored Checks Policy. I'll second that. Move and seconded to accept the Dishonored Checks Policy. Uh, any further discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Get it. Yeah. All right. So the other one, so we saw the drug testing pending. The Freedom of Information Policy. Uh, you guys have reviewed we're not going to sign it until next week because Oops. the formatting issue but i'm going to give you a couple for next week because these are pretty small and we should be able to whip right through them i thought maybe we could just talk about them quickly sure. that's a full set so that goes to date Oop. Those are three different ones, so just pass that group down. Yep, that's another set. That's another set. One for you. One for you. All right, so the first one is the emergency closure policy. So municipal officers and transportation may be closed in the event of weather or other public emergency. Every attempt will be made to service the townspeople of Acton while keeping the safety of our employees in mind. During extreme weather conditions, the town administrator will consult with a road commissioner about the road conditions. The town administrator will then decide whether to delay the opening or close the town services. The Board of Selectmen, Transfer Station, Superintendent, and Department Heads will be notified immediately of the decision. Whenever possible, a decision will be made within two hours before the scheduled opening of the municipal services. Employees who are scheduled to work will be notified of any delay or closure by their immediate supervisor. Employees should direct questions or concerns to their immediate supervisor. The town administrator will make every attempt to notify the public of the emergency closing via the town's website, local news, and cable television station, as long as updating the voicemail on her 401 phone extension. The board recognizes, depending on the emergency, all of these methods of notifying the public may not always be available. Thoughts, concerns, changes? Michelle had circled the... 401 phone extension as updating the voicemail on her 401 phone extension. Does that have to be in there? Well, she didn't really like the way that it flowed, but what I'm trying to, what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say in there, I don't want people to think that they could call in and the main system greeting is going to be changed. You have to go to my extension because that's the only one I can okay. change from home. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to change the main one every time we close. Right. So I'm gonna, should that should that say on her 401 extension or on? The town administrators. It could. So on the town administrator's phone extension, which yeah. is 401. 401. Right. Something that like might that. be better. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's just an easy way to save people from driving up because a lot of times they'll call ahead to see if we're open and if I can right. change that from home, it's yep. helpful. So, yep. all right. So I'll work on that for next week. Any other thoughts, concerns on that's closing early? I mean, we, nope. I feel like we do it pretty rarely. We, You know what I mean? We want to keep the employees safe, but at the same time, yeah. we are paid with tax to all. Taxpayer money. <clears throat> well, the thing is, is if you leave the town hall open during a really bad event, people will come. Right. You want yeah. to keep as many people off the roads for the yep. road commission as everybody else, and yeah. it's just better for everybody. Yep. I mean, if we know that it's going to, you know, snow all day constant, then we'll certainly close. But if it's going to stop by, you know, nine ten o'clock, I mean, I feel like we owe it to the yeah. townspeople to come in and or if they're only really predicting a tent. you know, two or three or four inches, right. what? It, yeah. Right. Okay. All right, so the next one is the excise tax exemption policy. Um, this is the policy that a um, mm -hmm. veteran who is an exemption of a Purple Heart license plate with a class code PH um, or somebody that is being paid at 100%. So this is for uh, veterans combined service connection evaluation at 100% as indicated on their summary of benefits. So they actually have to bring that in. We black out their monthly payment, we black out their social, and we attach it to the pink copy of the motor vehicle so that when the auditor comes in a year later and says, well, why is John Doe exempt? Why didn't you charge him? They can see the form. Mm -hmm. um, eligible veterans are exempt into a maximum of two exemptions for an automobile or truck, which they own. 
For vehicles registered in the name of the veteran, the exemption continues until both um, spouses have died or until the non-veteran spouse remarries. I need to add a period there. And then eligible veterans applying for new plates uh, have to follow the state guidelines. So we have probably five people in the town that, that um, qualify for this, and I can tell you that they are extremely grateful every year when they come in to renew. Uh, it's not something you have to do, but right. uh, something That's that was nice. started many years ago. And this is strictly for Purple Hat? Purple Heart or, no, they can have, we added that or be last the, year. Okay, or be 100%. Or okay. be 100%, yeah. Okay, yep. good. So DV, it says that they yep. can have DV or regular license plate. Okay. okay. Some of them don't like to advertise that they're right. DV. Mm -hmm. right. So we took that away, and as long as they could show us that they were being paid at 100%, mm -hmm. right. that the service determined they were 100%. Yep. Any changes there under the period that I found? No. No. Okay, so I'll make that, pretty that up for next week. Employee wage policy, uh, Michelle left us a nice smiley face on this one. <laughs> Board of Selectmen, unless voted otherwise at the annual town meeting, have the authority to assign the employee's hourly wage. The department head may make a recommendation to the Board of Selectmen as to what the employee's wage should be, but ultimately it is a decision of the Board. The recommendation must be submitted to the Selectmen in writing a minimum of 21 days before it takes effect. Starting wage, as well as any future increases, should be considered on experience, longevity, and merit. At no time will the Board of Selectmen approve a wage that is less than state or federal minimum wage. Uh, this was put in place, I think, uh, a few years back. Just to remind the department has they can make recommendations to you, but essentially it is the board's decision yep. on the hourly rate. Sounds good. Thoughts, concerns? Look fine. David's mulling it over. <laughs> well, this. It's this just the first just, reading. Well, it's just for anybody, yeah. This is everybody, so uh, that means yep, anybody road. there that the road commission is higher. They're, as employees, as employees, yep. they're yep. going to have to come to us to to okay the wage For increases other than the three percent. So but what about the higher end? Well, they, I mean, if they're town employees, you're they're your employees. I mean, uh, because if I, say I'm a road commissioner, right, and I uh, I go out and hire a new guy, mm -hmm. I can hire him at the max rate, and I won't have to worry about the raises. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I'm just, I'm just, I mean, myself, I always thought the Royal Commission decided who, what their pay was, but by if you go by this policy, they're going to have to be in line also. Well, I mean, you could make the, I mean, it, it's just the board's choice. I'm just putting it out there. You could make um, elected officials, staff exempt, but I'm going to be honest with you. One of the reasons they put this policy in place was because they had two different road commissioners hiring yeah. new no, people in at different hours. You know what I mean? It was kind of a good idea to a point, but... You, we've got to make sure that they, they know that they're, they're part of this. Right. Also. Well, as you sign and update these, the departments are getting notified. Okay. So. Get notified. Yep. You can give us some thought. I mean, we don't have to, you know. Yeah, yeah think about and it. And for the rate. most part, the board has supported all of, you know, supported the rates, but I think one of the issues we ran into was that, you know, one side was starting a lot higher than the other side mm -hmm. for the same general laborer, and we had employees that were working, you know, 10, 15 years, and they oh, weren't even at the less. highest rate. Yeah. Right? Right. They were making less right. than the people coming on. Or you can make those that department exempt. Two different, there's, two, there's two different arguments to that point. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you want to do. We'll yep. set that one aside for now. All right. Good. Okay. All That's set with policies? Yes, sir. So we're going to table these for next week? Yep. Yeah, it was just yep. a first yeah. reading. I figured it would be easier just to see if you had any issues so yep. I could just prep them for next week. Okay. Recommendations on STM. What is that? Yeah, what is STM? Yeah. Special town meeting? Uh -huh. I need an actual uh, motion. Should we pick a date? Oh, we got a date. We got a yeah. warrant. I, was gonna I thought we were. <laughs> thought we were there already. February third. So I just need motions and warrants to see if motions and seconds to see if the town will vote to appropriate from undesignated fund eighteen thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars for Acton's share of the Emory Mills Dam project that exceeds the previously budgeted amount of 75,000. Axon's total share of the project was $93,454. Okay. okay. Motion to do what motion? to the article? Do we have a motion? Motion to do we accept the article as written. I make a motion and we uh, accept the article as written. Okay. I'll second that. Move to second it to accept the article as written yep. and read. Yep. Okay. All in favor? We are. Okay, well, you look at me. I thought you wanted me to say something. 
Okay, so you know move me, the I'll seconded. Well, Any further discussion? No. Over vote, all in favor? Right. Opposed? Right. Okay. And I think I told you about this, Ed. Kim and David discussed it last week. Uh, to see if the town will authorize the Board of Selectmen to appropriate and expend additional monies from the undesignated fund balance for the purchase of equipment or to use as they deem advisable to meet unanticipated expenses and emergencies that occur during the 1920 fiscal year. Expenditures in excess of $500 shall require advice and recommendation of the Board of Finance. Maximum expenditure of 15000 And then there's a note that says, uh -huh. this is in addition to monies expended in Article 11 from the June 2019 town meeting that were utilized to purchase and install a new heating system at the Acton Fire Rescue Building. Yep. Yeah. Yep, no, that that article is exactly it's a word for what was voted on in June. Yeah. Just replenishing no, the account. Yeah, exactly. So okay, do I hear a motion on that article? Anyone? Make Anyone who should accept? Go ahead. Go, no, you got it. It's your turn. <laughs> My turn. All right. Um, make a motion to accept uh, the article as written. I'll second that. Move to second it to accept the article as written. Any further discussion? Over vote, all in favor? All opposed. Okay. All it's doing is repl replenishing, like you said, what we'd taken out. So, so the Warren Finance is meeting on Tuesday, January 21st. Uh, they're going to make their recommendations, hopefully, and uh, the board will sign it on the 22nd, and we'll get it posted in time for the okay. special town meeting. Sounds good. Okay. We have a executive session. Do we want to do the planning? No, let's do the executive session. So I'll make a motion to go into executive session. 4056A. I'll second that. Move to second to go into executive session. All in favor? All opposed? We, will, we shall return. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Do I hear a motion to come out of executive session? I make a motion to come out of executive session 4056A. At what time? Uh, 705. 705. Thank you. Okay. I'll second that. Moved and seconded to come out of executive session. All in favor? All opposed? Okay. Uh, so. What would you like to do? I'll read this first. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm going to make a motion to waive the balance on an account per hardship request on ticket 239. I'll second that. Moved and seconded to waive the hardship on ticket 239. Um, any further discussion? Okay. Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Very we good. Do we need to sign this or anything? Uh, Signature? Yeah, please. Just so okay. I can send it to the billing company? Yep. Play the board. Okay. Just as soon as we sign this. All right, and then there we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. There you go. All right. There you go. That's all set. Okay. We have an appointment. Certificate of appointment. Title 30A, MRSA 2602, Selectman's Office, Municipality of Acton, Maine, 2. Thomas Cashin, the selectman of the municipality of Acton, do in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the state of Maine, hereby appoint you as planning board alternative or alternate within and for the municipality of Acton until June 30th, 2020, given under our hand this January 15th, 2020. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion. We appoint Tom Cashin, the planning board alternate. And I'll second that. Okay, move to second it. Any further discussion? Oh, call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Oh, yeah. Thank you. What time is a special town meeting? Seven? I think we said six. Oh. I'll double check the warrant, though. Okay. Thanks. Okay, public comment. Anyone for the public? I probably should have spoke about this earlier, Ed. Uh, I just want to uh, say that the Warrant Finance Committee was invited to the school committee meeting last week. Uh, we had a real good turnout, and it was a very positive meeting. Uh, the superintendent was pretty happy with this, uh, how it went. Uh, 
so that was a real positive thing. Uh, the special town meeting, uh, when Jen called me Friday about changing the date, uh, we agreed to uh, the date and she um, said that she would email everybody and I said I would also call everybody and, and tell them about the change and um, that went very well. I actually was, haven't done that. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I will. Did you call everybody? I did call everybody. Okay. I have not emailed. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But I will. Do you want me to send the draft along with it? Uh, uh, yes. I handed out hard I, copies, but I think I'm Yes, I handed out hard copies. I'll do that first thing in the morning. And, sorry. Uh, so I'll thank you for doing it before you're doing it. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it, Jim. Nothing but honest. I just haven't had time, but when's, I will. Um, Dennis, when's the um, s school board's next uh meeting do you know with the budget for the budget i believe it's uh january 23rd okay do you know oh. what time off the top of my head i think it's the 23rd i've got the schedule in my office all right look at it. yep okay, so thank you thank you Dennis. any other public comment going once going twice <laughs> i would like to address the town all the residents to mark their driveways with their numbers physical for us responding to a medical call fire call whatever the case may be so we have a lot of residents in town that they only put their mailboxes the numbers on their mailboxes from the posts people come from we need them on both sides good three to four inch numbers mm -hmm. so we can find if you don't if your neighbor don't do it do it your house so your neighbor if we have a call, we can find the addresses. We, yep. we had a situation down here yep. at, on a snowstorm. I went right by the driveway. So the ambulance went right by the driveway because I told them I'm plowing my way in. Coming back out, I see the mailbox. Pine trees were all over the numbers. Couldn't see it. It was a black mailbox. So I just want to make sure the residents know that seconds count when your husband, wife, kid or whatever the case may be house fire that we it's not coming through the roof yet so we can find it a lot easier yeah yep. thank you okay. thank you thank you does uh does, do you know if kenny still does the numbers downstairs he does not he does not no. okay that may be something we want to talk to uh, the fire chief about they could take that over yes and do that we can talk about that so yep. okay okay um okay any more public comment going once going twice okay Announcements, special town meeting coming up on February 3rd. and it is 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock. Okay. okay, and that's here at the town hall. Uh, that's all I have for announcements on here. And I guess that must be it. Do you have anything? I'm good. No, do you have anything? I'm good. Anything else, Jen? No, sir. I'm just okay. emailing before I forget. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll make a make motion to adjourn. I'll second that. We'll be seconded to adjourn. All in favor? All opposed? Night all.